now we move to another breath called yogic breath now the yogic breath is a combination of the abdominal breath thoracic breath and the clavicular breath now the yogic breath can be used um, to relax or calm your frayed nerves and we include this breath in yoga because it helps you to deepen your breathing but it should not be used on its own every day so in yogic breath we will inhale through our nose up to our abdomen chest and the shoulder so let's do it together so inhale and see the rising of your abdomen the chest and the shoulder blades up to the throat and then when you exhale you bring first your shoulders down chest down and in the end your abdomen so let's do it together inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, we may carry on doing two more rounds like that. So in yogic breath, there should be a absolutely no interruption in the flow of breath, but it should be a continuous and smooth flow of breath. Each phase of breath is seamless and without any effort. So to practice pranayam, always remember to have a relaxed, effortless breath. So once you have practiced these breaths and experimented with these breaths and you're aware of the sensations and the awareness of your body. Yogic breath, as you master it, you let go of the clavicular breathing. We do not move our shoulders up and down. We just let go of the clavicular breathing and then the yogic breath is a combination of only the abdominal breath and the thoracic. I hope you find this video useful keep watching and keep subscribing thank you for all your love support and energy namaste